Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing addition and subtraction of polynomials. So addition and subtraction, we can only add or subtract if they have the same degree or exponent and variable. Again, we can only add or subtract if the polynomial or if the term of the polynomial has the same degree or variable. Now, let's try this example. Add 3x squared plus 5x minus 8 and x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, let us rewrite. So, we have 3 x squared plus 5x minus 8 plus x squared minus 3x plus 2. We need to add. Now, we can remove the parentheses. 3x squared plus 5x minus 8 negative times uh, positive times positive it's positive x squared positive times negative, negative 3x. And negative, a positive times positive, positive 2. Or, or simply, if our operation is plus, just remove the positive, uh, the parentheses. Now, combine like terms. We need to combine like terms. Again, we can only combine if they have the same exponent and variable. So let us check. We have x squared, x squared. We can combine them because our exponent is 2 and the variable is x. So 3 plus 1, there is 1 here. So we have 4x squared. Same thing, 5x minus 3x. So exponent, check the exponent. So degree 1 x and x. So we can combine them. 5x minus 3x, that is positive 2x. Negative 3, positive 3, a positive 2. We can combine them. So that is negative 6. This will be our answer. The other way in solving addition and subtraction is we need to copy 3x squared plus 5x minus 8, then add 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, so negative 8 plus positive 2, that is negative 6. 5x plus negative 3x, that is positive 2x. 3x squared plus x squared is 4x squared. If you're going to use this one, make sure that our exponent and variables with the same exponent and variable are aligned. So aligned, aligned, and the constant. Let's try another example. Add 17x raised to 4 minus 9x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 3 and 7x raised to 4 minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 9. So since our operation is addition, so we can just copy 7 17x raised to 4 minus 9x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 3. Then add 2 7x raised to 4 minus 3x squared plus 5x minus 9. Again, it's okay not to write the parentheses if our operation is addition. Now combine like terms. So the highest exponent here is 4. 
and we have the same variable. So, can we add 17x raised to 4 plus 7x raised to 4? Of course, that will give us 24x raised to 4. How about the cube? Do we have cube? Aside from negative 9x cubed, there's none. So we just copy negative 9x cubed. Okay, we're done here. Answer job. Now, for the squared, x squared and x squared. Combine them, 2x squared minus 3x squared. That is negative x squared. We're done at x squared. Next, x and 5x. Add, that will give us 6x. And for the constant term, 3 minus 9, that is negative 6. This will be our answer. Okay, the other way around. We can use this one, this method. So copy 17x raised to 4 minus 9x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 3. Plus, the second is 7x raised to 4. So align x raised to 4, x raised to 4. We don't have cube here, so leave that area. Minus. 3x squared plus 5x minus 9. Now, add 3 plus negative 9, that is negative 6. x plus positive 5, this is positive 6x. 2x squared plus negative 3x squared. That is negative x squared. So we just copy the variable and exponent. Then you need to master the addition and subtraction of integers. So 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. Or we can just simply write negative x squared. And since we don't have x cubed, so just copy negative 9x cubed. And 17 plus 7, 24x raised to 4. So are they the same? They must be the same. Okay. Now for the third and fourth example, let's have the subtraction. And now let's have our example number 3 and number 4. Number 3, subtract 5y minus 12y squared from... 8 minus 3y minus 2y squared. So we need to subtract this from this. So copy 8 minus 3y minus 2y squared. Then subtract 5y minus 12y squared. In subtraction, it is very important to write our parentheses unlike in addition. So do not forget your parentheses. Now, remove the parentheses in front. Distribute the negative sign. So negative times positive, negative 5y. Negative times negative, positive 12y squared. And now let us combine like terms. So we have variable y and exponent, which is 2. So these are the things we can combine. Negative 2y squared plus 12y squared. That is 10y squared. Positive because 12 is greater than negative 2. So copy the sign of the bigger number. Then negative 3y minus 5y. So we have negative. 8y. And we have a constant term which is 8 positive 
for our final answer, always arrange from descending order. So the highest exponent must be written in the leftmost part of our expression. We can also use our second, me second method. So 8 minus 3y, or let us arrange, it can be written as negative 2y squared minus 3y plus 8 minus negative 12y squared plus 5y. Let us check if we will come up with the same answer. So we have 0 here. We will have constant in our 12y squared plus 5y. So 8 minus 0. That is 8. Copy the sign. Now we have negative 3y minus positive 5y. So this is negative 8y. And negative 2y squared minus negative 12y squared. So our rule in subtraction, change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed to addition. So we have add. So 2 plus 12, that is 10y squared. Copy the sign, this will become positive. What did we say? Yes. Uh, most of our students use this case, unlike this one, because Applying this in subtraction is a little bit hard for some because you're going to change the sign of the suprahend and proceed to addition. So it's okay to use this format. Now in number four, subtract a raised to four plus five a cubed minus three a squared from 7a raised to 5 minus 2a raised to 4 minus a squared plus 3a. So copy 7a raised to 5 minus 2a raised to 4 minus a squared plus 3a. Subtract a raised to 4 plus 5a cubed minus 3a squared. Now remove the parentheses. 7a raised to 5 minus 2a raised to 4 minus a squared plus 3a. Distribute the negative outside our parentheses. Negative a raised to 4. Negative times positive. Negative 5a cubed. Negative times negative. Positive 3a squared. Now, combine like terms. So, for the... Degree of 5, just copy 7a raised to 5. So a raised to 4 and a raised to 4. Combine them. Negative 2a raised to 4 minus a raised to 4. That is negative 3a raised to 4. That is negative 2 minus 1, negative 3. So we're done here and also here. Now after 4, we have 3. The power of 3. We only have negative 5a cubed, so we just copy that. We're done here. Then for the square, negative a squared plus 3a squared, that is positive 2a squared. And remaining term, positive 3a. So this will be the final answer. So that's on how to add and subtract polynomials. Make sure that you master the operations of integers before solving problem like this. That will help you to answer the exercises if you mastered the integers first. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.